Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. So today, guys, we'll be doing CONCACAF Nations League third place and final preview. So I'm going to keep this very short, the third place, because I know most of you guys don't really care, and I also don't really care as well. We're going to do it, for though, for formality reasons, and, you know, it's a match at the end of the day, so we're going to do a quick preview. So coming into this game, we have Mexico versus Panama. I'm going to go with Mexico to win. Yes, I know Panama. I know Mexico has been really struggling and everything. I just feel like, for me, I don't really rate this Panama team that great, and they are not that amazing. So, Mexico should be beating the Panama. Don't be surprised, though, because Panama could get a result here. I'm going to go with the 1-0 win for Mexico. And now, for the big preview. You guys know I did this preview for. USA versus Canada. Uh, I am very worried for this final. And it's not even just the fact that Serginho Dest and Weston McKinney are suspended. That's also a concern. That's not my main concern. My main concern is the fact that Tyler Adams is not present. Because this guy, in my opinion, is the be was the best USA player of the World Cup. I think the guy was unbelievable in his distributions, in his tackles, his slide tackles, his ball recoveries. He was very, very important to our midfield. And without him, and especially McKinney in this game, how will midfield do? We're going to see Yunus Musa probably play in the CDM position. And we're going to probably see Luca De La Torre drop in. And maybe Gio Reyna. You know, because my issue with the USA is that our midfield for me is where I'm mostly concerned with. Because Canada, they have their midfield story. You have Astakio, you have Miller, you have Tiba Hutchinson, you know. And the thing is with the difference between the two teams that USA doesn't really have a clear game plan. As good as we were against Mexico, I feel like for me, Mexico were so bad that we were so, it, we looked great. Because let's be real guys, Canada is at 1,000 times better than Mexico. 1,000 times better than Mexico, right? And so we're not going to be able to go through Mexico uh, as we're not going to be able to buy press Canada's press like we did against Mexico because Canada have some uh, athleticism, right? Mexico didn't, you know? And I think the key for me in this game that really worries me is the counterattacks because we saw whenever Mexico did attack, they actually had a few chances and they almost could have scored. Give those kind of chances to Alfonso Davis and Jonathan David, they're going to bury those chances in. You know, and I think for me the crucial thing is that Alfonso Davis is going to be, um, he is going to be massive for Canada. I think the guy is going to be unbelievable. You know, he just came off the bench against Panama and had a great impact in the second half. Imagine him, and because he's going to start this game, I can hundred percent assure you that. You know, and I feel like he's going to cause a lot of problems to USA defense because remember, guys, even though the guy is a defender, he's actually more as a forward. He actually is a makeshift defender at Bayern Munich. You know, he's going to be playing more in attacking position. He's going to cause problems, especially with Serginho Dest out. Who's going to stop? I mean, Joe Scally. The guy has barely been playing much game time for the USA. And we're going to, I'm sorry, DeAndre Yedlin is going to get burned. Like, DeAndre Yedlin is going to get destroyed. He's going to get cooked if um, Davis, um, uh, if if he plays, you know. And so we have these kind of tr uh, uh, man, uh, tricky decisions made by the coach, you know, Callagher. And obviously, we got the news that Berhalter will be back. So I'm assuming that Berhalter will probably join the join back the national team after the Gold Cup. So, as for a prediction, guys, it's a very difficult game to call. <sighs> I'm going to go for a draw. I think the USA will Canada will tie 1-1 apiece. And I have a feeling this will go to penalties. And I have a feeling Canada will triumph on penalties. I feel like for me with the USA, I'm just really concerned and how good our forwards will be on the day. Because, let's be real, guys. Our forwards didn't really show up against Mexico. Like, if we're being honest with you guys. Sir Christian Pulisic, for me... He obviously showed up. Reyna, for me, didn't really show up, to be honest with you guys. And Weya did do a certain extent, although I felt like Weya, for me, wasn't that great throughout the course of the game. And then, obviously, you have uh, Balogun, who was very, very underwhelming. You know, then again, it's his first game. And then, obviously, also, we have the fact that um, Ricardo Pepe as well. So, it's going to be very interesting. I am hope I'm wrong, though, with this prediction. This is just what my brain is telling me, guys. And this is my unbiased prediction, guys. So, hopefully, USA can win. That would be awesome. So, like I said, guys, let me know your predictions in the comments below, guys. Like and subscribe to this video, guys. It does help the channel grow. And, yeah, I'll see you guys on Sunday, guys. So, I'll try to do a YouTube short to give a reaction to the final. And, yeah, man, um, maybe do a YouTube video as well. We'll, we'll see what the, we'll see how the final goes and we'll see what mood I am to do. So, there will not be a live stream that I can guarantee you with. So, like I said, guys, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.